Hi, this is Guru JP F66. Welcome to my Mac Tips and Tutorials. On a previous tutorial, you learned how to add subtitles to your project. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few tricks and tips for adding subtitles. When you're adding subtitles to your project, it can be a very long and tedious process. It doesn't have to be this way. First, click and drag the type of title that you're going to use for your project. Once you've figured out the color, style, and size of your font, highlight an empty space. Hit Command C in order to copy that selection. For the next subtitle, you don't have to go through the entire process again. Just click and drag the title, hit Command V to paste your selection, and begin typing. Notice that the fonts are already on the color, style, and size that you previously selected. That will save you a lot of time. Now, let's take a look at the system font panel window. Please, keep in mind that you need to have the text highlighted first in order to apply the changes that you make to the text. In addition to changing the color, style, and size of your text, you can also add shadows. You have three different controls, shadow opacity, shadow blur, and offset. You can also change the angle of the shadow. Full Moon 272 one of my subscribers asked me how to make the text transparent. It is very easy. Just select the color of the text, then change the opacity, and you can see how the text becomes transparent. Once again, keep in mind that the text needs to be highlighted for the changes to be applied. I hope that helped you Full Moon 272 If you are using the gradient white or the soft bar white titles, Here's a way to change the color of the bar to a color of your choice. Click and drag the title to your project, then select the bar. You'll see a light blue line around the bar. With the system font panel window, change the color of the bar. You can also, just like the text, change its opacity. Then click and drag the color sample to an empty box at the bottom. Like that, you'll have the same color and opacity for every time you want to use the title. When doing subtitles, and then you change your mind about a style, going back and retype your text can be a real pain and a time-consuming process. But you don't have to retype your text, all you need to do is just change the style of your title. To do that, select the title to change, click on the inspector button, an inspector window pops up. On this window you can set the duration of the title and the duration of the fade-in and fade-out of the title. At the bottom is the title button with the name of the current style. Click on it and the window flips, showing a preview of your text with all the styles available. Select the one that you like, and the changes are automatically applied to your text. That will definitely save you some time. Well, that's it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial. Until next time, this is Guru JPF66, and always remember Comment, rate, subscribe. This video is being brought to you by...